I'm back with another one that you probably won't use in the field, but that's okay. We'll need to know about it anyway. It's a DRO reversal technique. I have a hard time with the DRO, DR0 stuff. Um, see that rant video thing that you've all been, probably watched already. Maybe not because it hasn't been recorded. Anyway, shh, shit, broke the wall. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so DRO condition, uh, or sorry, uh, DRO reversal. What we're after here is we're going to use a DRO procedure as our baseline. And we're going to, for a certain period of time, if a particular behavior does not occur, we're going to reinforce something, whatever the hell is going on at that moment, right? Um, and then when we switch conditions, we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to make that problem behavior, we're going to reinforce the problem behavior. So contingent reinforcement, normal reinforcement for the problem behavior. So you're going to say down and then up and then down and then we're going to switch it back and forth between the DRO and in the normal uh, condition. The idea is, is to demonstrate that you have the power of the behavior using that DRO technique, which demonstrates that the DRO is an effective procedure. Great experimentally, not so fun in the real world.